In 1998, Squaresoft developed and released Urgo's God Bless the Ring for the arcade and later Sony PlayStation. The plot of the game hinted that the sword Urgo's, a legendary and powerful weapon, was sealed away. It could only be opened with the Urgo's stone. This stone was made as a prize for winning a fighting tournament. Combatants would come through various circumstances and whoever won the tournament would take the stone and from the stone could take the sword. The combatants were Ken Godhand Mishima, a mercenary from the Red Scorpion organization, but he decided to leave. However, leaving the organization requires the person to sever their own right hand. Ken actually does this, later betraying the organization by selling information that he knows about it to another syndicate. Per arrangement, he was given a prosthetic arm. What was interesting is that he had a bizarre connection to the Mishima family of the Tekken fighting series, but by appearance, had no in-game connection to them. Han Dehan, a young Korean martial arts actor, very popular, but most don't know that his right leg is actually a prosthetic. During a movie being filmed a year prior in the Middle East, a mysterious cloud of black smoke engulfed the lake and it disappeared. Even though it's gone, he still has a sensation and a quote-unquote feeling of it being there. It's not explained in-game why his leg was taken and disappeared, and how he could still feel an appendage there. He's essentially Horong from Tekken, Prince Doza, the best kickboxer in the world. Bored with being the best, he entered the Urgeis tournament where anything is allowed in terms of a match. Not desiring the sword, but just the challenge of fighting opponents that were considered to be the best in the world. However, his kickboxing style left him at a disadvantage, so in the game, he has gloves that shoots fireballs much like the Hadouken from Street Fighter. A bit of a translation difference is that only in the Japanese version, his name is Nasim, being that of Middle Eastern origin. Yoko Kishiki Bojin, her parents having divorced when she was just 10 years of age, she was taught jujitsu from her mother, while her father is an archaeologist. Even though she's still in high school, her talents have been noticed by Interpol, and is now a low-ranking member of the force. Getting a letter from her father about Urgi on being ordered by Interpol to look into the tournament is a clear coincidence. Due to her name, Yogo, she's called Yoyo, and uses a yo-yo-based weapon in the game. Li Shuwen a martial arts master of Kempo, he possesses the techniques that can kill a person with a single strike. It's been said that Li was actually killed ages ago through poisoning, but through the power of a legendary elixir found in the tomb of the first emperor of China, Li was actually brought back to life. It was not explained how Li came into contact with the elixir, but the elixir was so powerful as actually making him younger. Originally an elderly man on his death, he is reversing an age, and there was nothing that he could do about it. If he continues to age further, he'll be erased from existence. He is inspired by Tekken's Lei Wu Long and real life martial artist Li Shu Wen Sasuke. Although he resembles a ninja, his true identity is never technically revealed in game. He actually works during the time of the tournament as an assassin for the Red Scorpion organization. During a mission to assassinate the archaeologist Koji Matsuda, he learns that he might be able to remember who he is. He takes traits from ninjas in the Ninja Gaiden series and Dead or Alive series. Dasha Inoba A prominent Japanese wrestler and a student of Carl Schneider, the founder of the Urgis tournament. After Schneider's death, Inoba discovers a note left behind by his mentor and discovers a connection between him and the sword. Even though the entire fighting game of Urgois revolves around wrestling, Inoba is the only real wrestling character in the game. He's based off the real-life Japanese wrestler Antonio Inoki, Joe. As an infant, Joe survived an airplane crash that killed her parents in the Amazon rainforest while sustaining minor injuries to her head. Details about Joe's past was never revealed in the game. Joe was raised by wolves, and through this raising by wolves she gained great strength and speed. After the wolf that raised her, her quote-unquote wolf mother died, she earned the name Wolf Girl due to her ferocity. Through unspecified events, Red Scorpion comes into contact with her and gives her the name of Joe. Who she really is, Oz mentioned, and why she's brought to compete in the tournament is never mentioned. Her style of fighting is similar to that of Caporetta. 
Koji Matsuda, Yoko Kishibojin's father, an internationally known archaeologist. The three-time reigning champion of the Urgis tournament, not much else is known about him or mentioned about him in the game. Claire Andrews, a gifted prodigy who entered university at the age of 16. Claire is one of Koji's archaeology students. Although she's independent, she's also childishly naive. When Koji sets out to begin the circumstances of this third tournament, Claire impulsively joins him as an assistant. Her fighting style is similar to that of Jeet Kune Do, and as well as similar to martial law from the Tekken series. Dijango Red Scorpion A large, wolf-like creature that's the main boss of the game. In his basic form is Dijango, but in his full form he's Red Scorpion, much like the title of the organization. A connection between the two is never fully mentioned. A secondary mood was that of a dungeon where players could alternate between Koji and Claire and there were many cases of players actually preferring to explore the dungeon rather than the actual fighting game. When the game was released, it sold a decent amount of copies in Japan, but interest in the game in Japan as well as in the West quickly disappeared, and Western video game critics gave average to negative reviews of the game. The sword of Urgis itself and its true powers were never really depicted nor mentioned, and the fighters competing in the tournament did not really have that much of a good reason for obtaining the sword. Normally, when a fighting tournament is held, it's considered the first in a first game, second in the second game, and third in the third game, and such per game. But the Urgis tournament was mentioned in the story as being the third of such a fighting competition, already having a forced continuity to try and catch up to the other more established fighting game franchises of the time. Also, critics mentioned why the Final Fantasy VII characters were featured in-game, as there were no real causes for them to be there at all. Some critics had even mentioned that the Final Fantasy characters were put in-game to attract fans whom had played Final Fantasy VII to the game of Urgis. When everything is considered, none of it made that much sense, even the title for the game, Urges, confused gamers as the word is actually German for ambition. Sometimes a character could be forgotten because a potential franchise just wasn't explained enough nor cared about to be remembered.